Kia kato katoa. No mai, haere mai, to Tamaki Makauro's jewel, the Aotea Centre, on this most special day, graduation day. Before we begin the official ceremony, I've just got a few announcements to make. First and foremost, if you could please take a moment to ensure that your cell phone will not ring during the ceremony. You can either switch it off now or select mute if you're using it as a camera. Uh, we are required to make you aware of the emergency exit procedures. In the event of an emergency, the ushers will assist you to the nearest exit, which are at the side and the rear of the hall. If you need any assistance at any time, the ushers are here to help. This, uh, the program outlines the ceremony for you, and this ceremony includes approximately 300 graduands, at least one of whom is the reason why you're here today. Your graduand will be projected up on the large screen behind us here so that you'll have a really good view regardless of where you're seated. We would appreciate you not leaving the auditorium until the ceremony has completed. Shortly, you will hear the call of the karanga, welcoming our graduands into the hall. Following that, we will be singing the national anthem. If I could ask that during the anthem, you remove your headwear and stand for the anthem. Following the ceremony, we'll be inviting you to join us for refreshments in the BNZ and the Owens foyer. Finally, it is wonderful to have you here to share this great celebration of achievement, and we are proud to share it with you. Tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto katoa. Please stand.
Ete ti, ete ta. Kua tai tinana mai ki te whare mātua o Aotea. To everyone who have gathered this late afternoon at Aotea Centre. Nau mai, haere mai, whakatau mai rā, ki te pōtaitanga ngā huru o wairaka, rua manu te kou mā iwa. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Unitex Autumn Graduation 2009. Ko te wā whakanene, whakaihiihi, mana hau. A moment in time of anticipation, of excitement and jubilation. Māori ora. Please be seated. Ayahi ki a tato katoa. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and graduates. My name is Murray Strong. I'm the commissioner here at Unitech. Uh, it's a pleasure that we welcome you all here today uh, on what is a very special occasion. It's also a privilege to have this very fine collection of graduates with us uh, this afternoon, uh, as it's you that we're here to celebrate today. Nōrera tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tato katoa. 
Uh, bonjour, Bula, Unyong, Hola, Sawat Di, Namaste, Ciao, Nihao, Konnichiwa, Asalamu Alaikum, Kiora, and once again, welcome. I've been lucky enough to have a series of roles at various educational institutions over the years, but nothing quite takes the cake like a graduation ceremony such as this afternoon. And those feelings are absolutely present in this room today. I'm reminded of when I graduated way back in 1990. Um, my parents were reasonably proud of me, uh, and in fact I skipped across the stage, uh, much to the embarrassment of my sister who was trying to sink into the seat uh, so that she couldn't be uh, associated with me at all. Um, there's a red carpet on the front of the stage here, uh, and it's here for a reason, uh, and that's for you today. Uh, we recognise your work, your effort, your commitment, the fun that you've had along the way, and probably some of the difficult times that you've experienced as well. So when you get up here, uh, don't feel nervous. Marin, our Chief Executive, and I will be here to join you, uh, and you will feel the reflected pride of your friends, family, Fono and Fano uh, in the room with us today. You might have an internal smile at the hard work that you've uh, undertaken to be here. You'll have pleasure at seeing your classmates with you as well, uh, who have worked alongside you during the courses of your studies. And you will see uh, your family uh, in the bleachers and the rest of the auditorium. So hold on to those feelings that you have this afternoon. They're precious, they're important, and they are a reminder of why we engage in education. To this fine group of people behind me, uh, a group of committed staff, professionals, tutors, and teachers, uh, thank you too for the work and effort and commitment that you have put in in getting this group of people here today. So as a group of graduands, I would invite you now to all stand, please. Graduands, stand on your feet. We're running off script here. And I would like you to join me in thanking your staff, your tutors, and the people that have made your education at Unitech such a rewarding thing. Thank you all very much. Thank you, you may have a seat. During the course of your studies, you will have heard a lot about lifelong learning. Uh, and I would urge you to continue to embrace that as a theme and as a concept for what comes in your futures. That lifelong learning enhances our understanding of the world, it enhances our understanding of our communities and of us as individuals. It's never too late to start, um, but it's often too late to stop learning. And we have an era of abundant opportunity in front of us. New construction techniques, new ways of working with communities, deep learning algorithms, the, adv the advances in technology, all of which uh, are providing significant opportunities for you to make whatever contributions you choose to your families and to your communities. I encourage you to take those opportunities when they present themselves. I also know, having been at the spring graduation, that there are a lot of good things that will come from you as graduates today. Your futures um, are writ large. They will be profitable, they will be fun, and they will be enjoyable. And we'll continue to watch with interest from Unitech. He whakaro, paiki na, tangata tato. Goodwill to all people. Thank you and na mihi. It now gives me uh, a great pleasure indeed to introduce to you our guest speaker for this afternoon. Ives Rose, a Burundian drummer, a former refugee and also known for his drag queen persona, Black Mamba, became a registered social worker after obtaining his degree in social practice at Unitech in 2016. While a student, he participated in community activities including volunteering with the Rainbow Youth and the African Community Forum. As a social worker at Oranga Tamariki, he continues to advocate for the Tamariki rights, especially for Rainbow Rangatahi, working with their whanau and through their whanau, communities and other agencies to create a safe space. He understands the psychological pain 
associated with being isolated by family and community due to his sexual identity. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ives Rose. En amana, en areo, erao, rangatirama. En amate, haere, 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 atura. En a iwi, i hui hui nei, tenakoto, 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 tenakoto kato. Daba haem niri wemese, mukorani e hano. I am delighted and honored to be here in your presence today. The graduates, I'm so honored to be here and celebrate with you on this memorable day. I can recall being in your position during my graduation ceremony in 2016. I was so thrilled to have met such an achievement. So congratulations to you. I also want to acknowledge your family, Fano, and friends who have been through this journey with you and have supported you in every step of the way. To academic staff, thank you for being so passionate for what you do. You step in those lecture rooms, tutorial rooms with a smile on your face. You do that eager to offer yourselves to the students and the world. I always learned something new in your presence, so thank you. I and the graduates we are celebrating today would not be here without you. To Commissioner Mary Strong, Kiaura. To Interim Chief Executive Miran Davis, Kiara, and thanks to you both for your wise and inspirational leadership of Unitech. I'm aware from the media that Unitech has been facing some challenging times. So I want to really acknowledge you for your dedication to leading Unitech to a bold and a positive future. Today, I want to share with you a bit of my own story. Yes, I am a former refugee born in a small country called Burundi in Africa. In 1993, Burundi faced a civil war in which I lost some members of my family. I was a small boy living with, a, with my aunt and we fled to a neighboring country called Rwanda. With my immediate, when, and my immediate family went to Tanzania. I left Rwanda just before the genocide and joined my family in Tanzanian refugee camp. The refugee camp meant, was meant to be a place of safety. However, we experienced the sound of gunfire most, most of the nights, and sadly we'd wake up to find someone has been killed as a result. In 2005, my family and I we were able to join my sister in New Zealand under the refugee quota program. Today, I am proud to call Aotearoa my home. Being in New Zealand has supported to f me further uh, my journey of accepting me of who I am as a proud gay Man. This is despite not being accepted by my own family and my African community. So rather than disappear into the gay subculture of Auckland, I was determined to maintain my culture and my relationship with my African community. In 2014, with a message of love, acceptance, and inclusion, I ran for and won the title of Mr. Africa New Zealand. I went on to become a volunteer with African Welfare Service Trust, 
I went back to work with Miss and Mr. Africa New Zealand to help empower young men and women of African descent with the purpose of appreciating their strength to foster enhancement of potential, talent, and culture. I also volunteered with African Communities Forum, Rumba Youth, and with Amnesty International, advocating for the needs of rainbow refugees. A recent highlight of this journey was my Burundian drumming group performing with me at the Big Gay Out in February. As graduates, all of you have had your own journey and have exercised your own unique strength to get you to where you are today. It is our journey that makes us who we are. Most of all, it creates what we have to give to the world. Throughout my childhood, I wanted to work with people, and later I wanted to further my studies in, helping, in a helping field. While a child in Africa, my aunt used to send me with a bottle of milk to family homes of those who were dying from AIDS. I believe that it is through my auntie's examples of compassion that I, develop, I developed a love for humanity and wanted to work in a helping field. So, in 2013, I joined Unitech and enrolled into the social practice degree. I am now working with the Ministry for Children, Oranga Tamariki, as a social worker. I joined Oranga Tamariki after I went for my placement at Child Mental Health Services and heard so many stories of a child maltreatment. I felt that I could be someone who can work with Tamariki, Rangatahi, and their whanau to make positive change. I have been in my role for nearly three years now. I have been working with Fano to achieve positive outcome for the Tamariki through working together and drawing onto their hidden talents, knowledge, and strengths. I work closely with community leaders, schools, and churches to support Fano. Working with Tamariki and Fano is my passion. Every graduate here today has your own unique passion. As you embark on your journey, you already have dreams and the contribution you will, you will offer to the world. Whatever you do, do not let your dreams die. I want to remind you that you can do, you cannot do it on your own. So while you give yourself to others in the community, know what ongoing support you need. For many, that may mean keeping of those relationships with your unitech classmates, lectures, whatever that, whatever that support is, is for you. Make sure you get it. This way, you will make it happen. Kia ora, and thank you for having me share my own story with you today. Stay blessed in everything you do. Tenakoto, tenakoto, kato. E aku nui, e aku rahi. Na tini matua, fano, hoa, ko tai mai ki te potaitanga i wairaka. Drua mano, tiko ma iwa. No mai, haere mai, fakato mai ra. Na tahi, mai tato katoa, kite fakanuia. Timi haro, titai toko, ina tutu ki tanga, o na tini. Ākonga. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, 
Tena tato katoe. Greetings, greetings, greetings to all. Warm Pacific greetings. And greetings, warm greetings, from the over 60 nationalities that we have here as part of our Unitech Fano. Assalamu alaikum. In the spirit of Tinoho Kotahitanga, Unitech's founding partnership with Māori, it is my privilege to welcome you all to our autumn graduation 2019 on behalf of all the Unitech staff. Welcome to our graduates. You are now part of a lifelong Unitech Fano. You were part of our legacy, our history, our kaupapa and our reputation. Welcome to you and a very special welcome to each and every one of your family and friends who are here today to celebrate with us. As they say, no man is an island, or in this case, no student is an island. Although I'm sure there's many times that you wished you were on a sunny island, not in the library or in Tipuna or at our Waitakere campus having to study for assignments and exams. But good news, you're done with that for now anyway and you're looking at what comes next. So today, don't worry about that. This is a celebration. Just celebrate the present and having made it with your friends and your family. Indeed, as we acknowledge that celebration, we also acknowledge the tragic events in Christchurch less than a month ago. And my thoughts are with our students, staff, and communities who lost loved ones. It makes it even more important that we come together as a community in celebration of the success of our graduations and the success of all of you in supporting them and a celebration of education. Last night, my son asked, why is graduation a highlight for you, Mum? Why is it your favourite time of year? Why is it such a party? It was a good question and I immediately thought of the obvious the hard work that gets you there, the achievement, the pride that we see up here in your faces and those of your friends and family. It reminds us why we do what we do. However, it really struck me this year that education brings us together in our diversity and how education has the power to help us embrace that diversity and really make a difference to this world. As we learn more about ourselves, we learn more about other people. And as we learn about others, we learn more about ourselves. Unitech is indeed a diverse and therefore powerful and rich community. Ives is such an example of the power of education. And we're incredibly privileged to have you here today uh, to share your story with us and to hear the difference that Ives is now making in his community and our community. So take the skills, the knowledge, the life lessons, take all of it that you've learned at Unitech and what you brought to Unitech, take your whole self and take the power of education to make a difference. But remen remember, learning never stops. This is both a life-changing and a lifelong partnership with you and Unitech. So now, to the main event of the day. Commissioner, it is my pleasure to advise you that all those before you today and those graduating and absentee have satisfied all of the criteria required for the qualifications that are being awarded and the academic board have so certified. The Commissioner, in accordance with the Education Act 1989, may grant them the awards listed in the program. So, as we move to the capping, remember, take your time, make the most of it, and we encourage family and friends to cheer your loved ones. We recognise it is a social world, but please refrain from taking selfies on the stage, as this really does slow things down. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tato katoa.
Pena tātou katoa. We have senior scholars graduating today. The Senior Scholar Award is made to graduates who consistently achieve exceptional grades throughout their course of study. A taonga will be presented as the student is called for the conferral of their degree. I present to the Interim Chief Executive the recipients of the Certificate in Animal Welfare Investigations. Bianca Atlas. Oakley Cox. Samantha Green. Janae Kramer. Erin Lally. Asmund Mackay Pearson. Brianna Williams. I now present the recipients of the New Zealand Certificate in Animal Care, Level 3, Companion Animals. Sarah Fithalmai. Maya Graham. Chloe Hidemi. Kara Holmes. Jasmine Holt. Marcel Kerrigan. Georgia Leaning. Cody Lynn. Grace McAnulty. Christina Wilson. Julie Porn Yam Plum. I now present the recipients of the New Zealand Certificate in Animal Management Level 4, Canine Behaviour and Training. Rachel Burns. Elizabeth Grayson. Deborah Hinton. Sophie Nenestad. <laughs> Celeste Drew. <laughs> Elizabeth Thatcher. <laughs> Amanda Whitaker. I now present the recipients of the, New, of the New Zealand Certificate in Animal Management Level 4, Captive Wild Animals. Jessica Ayers. <laughs> Anna Carlson. <laughs> Geneva Chan. Samuel Cullen. Victoria Cullington. Graham Johns. Bailey O'Donnell Martin. Emily Painter.
Emma Richardson. Sarah Rogers. Tamara Thompson. Nicole Bursell. Emma Cooper. I now present the recipients of the New Zealand Certificate in Animal Technology, Level 5, Veterinary Nursing Assistant, Alexa Adam. <laughs> Madeline Gilbert. <laughs> Kalanita Falu. I now present the diplomat of the Diploma in Veterinary Nursing, Sophie Coleman. I now present the diplomats of the New Zealand Diploma in Veterinary Nursing, Level 6, Gretchen Ambler. Bryani Brimble. Amanda Campton Kim. <laughs> Sephora Kataja. <laughs> Nina Deronde. I go me. <laughs> Louise Gormley. <laughs> Emma Hallowell. <laughs> Hazel Hart. Emerald Hill. <laughs> Dawn Irving. <laughs> Hannah Joel. Lakshmi Kalainathan. <laughs> Brianna Kerr. <laughs> Catherine Leah. <laughs> Raylene Longley. Leticia Lovick. <laughs> Nova Mathewson. <laughs> Hannah Mortimer. <laughs> Suzanne Petty. Sarah Parker. <laughs> Samantha Plowright. <laughs> T 
Taylor Rogers. <laughs> Christiana Self. <laughs> Jessica Spice. <laughs> Eleanor Sutcliffe. Triana Tutaki. <laughs> Estelle Vermeulen. <laughs> Rihanna Walker. Sarah Way. <laughs> Taylor Willits. <laughs> I now present to the Commissioner the graduates for the Bachelor of Applied Science, Animal Management and Welfare and Biodiversity Management. Phoebe Andrews. Kayla Rinch. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Applied Science, Animal Management and Welfare. Zainab Al Mubarak. Zainab is also receiving the Certificate in Animal Management. Diana Henry White. <laughs> Sarah Sergeju. <laughs> Andrea Sidel. Emily Van Bimmel. <laughs> I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Applied Science, Biodiversity Management, Jessica Jones. <laughs> Sarah Nolan. Thing Sith. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Health and Social Development, Health Promotion. Ruth Ajiwali. Yvonne Lyman. <laughs> Silotomua Laupepi Latu. <laughs> Ethan Mitchell. Neru Nishita. Sini Tonaholo Ropeti.
I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Health and Social Development, Youth Development. Meliani Kotai. Emma Tosinger. <laughs> Koroseta Timu. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Teaching, Early Childhood Education. Jamie Ailey. Melissa Annette. Paula Pichuan. Chelsea Bradshaw. <laughs> Esther Clark. <laughs> Ainsley Field. Natasha Jedi. <laughs> Courtney Gillard. <laughs> Amelia Hopkins. Mayu Shuna. Pratika Kumar. Nicole Max. Malaz Muhammad. <laughs> Zenet Muhammad. <laughs> Gregory Malloy. Emmeline Pickering. <laughs> Kelly Pinner. <laughs> Danika Shrub. Kushla Small. Yeah. 
Megan Stewart. Salise Tamatu. Samara Tridaway. <laughs> Bianca Wafer. <laughs> I call on Helen Wrightson to present the Taonga to senior scholar Kim Williams. I now present to the Interim Chief Executive, the Diplomats of the Diploma in Sport and Fitness Education, Wainan Klassens. Joseph Yusuf. I now present to the Commissioner, the graduates for the Bachelor of Sport Coaching, Harrison Calvary. <laughs> Jimmy Delama Ruiz. <laughs> Ronald Tuano. <laughs> Ronald is also receiving the Diploma in Sport and Fitness Education. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Sport Management. Alexandra Greer. <laughs> Le Yi Lee. <laughs> Calvin Rima Samuels. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Sport 
Physical Education, Edna Edwards. <laughs> Jessica Harris. <laughs> James Kofusi. James is also receiving the Diploma in Sport and Fitness Education. Yeah. Jacob Lewis. Yeah, Jacob. Naomi Lopetti. Nathaniel Muavai. <laughs> Tisiola, no. Charlene Paolo. <laughs> Byron Papili. Dylan Williams. Yeah. I now present the graduates for the Master of Osteopathy with first class honors, Esme Michaelana. With second class honours, Narissa Baker. Yeah. With second class honours, Olivia Furlong. Yeah. With second class honours, Grace Yorker. With second class honours, Matthew Ornaheim Smith. <laughs> With second class honours, Kirsty Pitch.
with second class honours, Kendall Root. With second class honours, Kimberly Switter. Georgina Kidd. <laughs> Craig O'Connor. <laughs> I call on David McNabb to read the next awards. Kia ora koutou. I present to the Interim Chief Executive the recipients of the National Certificate in Mental Health and Addiction Support, Alice Dawson. <clears throat> Rosarine Kawapa. Kanku Lufu Luaba. Jean Vier Suayuba. Selai Valentine. I now present to the Commissioner the graduands for the Bachelor of Health Science Medical Imaging, Jessica Bean. <laughs> Elizabeth Cameron. <laughs> Sarah Christensen. Stephanie Krancevich. <clears throat> Taylor Emsden. <clears throat> Alicia Glynn Stevens. Samantha Gover. <clears throat> Rashiba Gupta. <clears throat> Georgia Johns. Navrup Kawa. <clears throat> Kajal Kumar. <clears throat> ben Lennox. Chen Yao Li. <clears throat> Maha Mansur. <clears throat> Lee Nicholas. Janish Nisha.
Paige O'Connor. I call on Linda Almoor to present the Taonga to senior scholar Ruth Paul. Catherine Percival. Anushri Raj. Kajorn Reindreedy. I call on Linda Almour to present the Taonga to senior scholar Jessica Stanbridge. Thoroughgood. Georgia Valentine. Mithili Varma. Jessica Williams. I now present the graduands for the Bachelor of Nursing. Ruth Akanagbi. Alfiana Ali. Pamoda Atanaiki. U B. Samantha Brown. Chevelle Carr. <laughs> Gina Del Bello. <laughs> Gina is also receiving the certificate in university preparation. Ruby Dragisevich. Melinda Dyball. <laughs> Fingling Gang. <laughs> Jessica Chelsea Greenham. Vanessa May Gundy.
Helene Shi Gudenbach. Desiree Henry. <laughs> Pyong He. <laughs> Eugene Eco. Amani Erangi. <laughs> Jasmeet Kawa. <laughs> Rochelle Kumar. Yongi Lee. <laughs> Guan Ru Lee. <laughs> Yang Ning Lee Lin. Jacinda Mangino. <laughs> Tahira Mukara. <laughs> Tahira is also receiving the certificate in university preparation. Gina Noyan. Me O oh. <laughs> Zarina Palau <laughs> John Panahon <laughs> Telegogo Paul. Chanel Prakash. <laughs> Ranish Ravindran. <laughs> Letta Brian Reda. Sarah Romans. <laughs> Rupage, Rupage. <laughs> Jessica Sikula. Silpa Shaji. <laughs> Laura Smith. <laughs> Sifa Ata Iimana Sunalafu. Shivam Verma. <laughs> Justin Veloso. <laughs> K. 
Karen Wallace. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Social Practice, Community Development, Ania Appleby. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Social Practice, Social Work, Elizabeth Aliyuwina. Elizabeth is also receiving the Certificate in Community Skills. Kerry Anderson. Tamara Hemana. <laughs> Ernest Vlasoli. Ernest is also receiving the Certificate in Foundation Studies, Level 3, Fittinger. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Social Practice, Marcus Abdel Rahman. <laughs> Ashley Beavis. Bronwyn Beachy. Yeah. Heather Bolton. <laughs> Thomas Kentlin. Renee Coma. <laughs> David Crabb. <laughs> Maria Daniels. Leestra Davis. <laughs> Siobhan Graham. Michael Houghton. <laughs> Gita Lata. <laughs> Lorena Lamala. Danielle Lindsay. Let's go, Let's go. Let's go.
Jonas Lisaka. Caitlin Logan. <laughs> Teacher Wina Magia. Tapita Maui Arei. <laughs> Nalisha Mohammed. I call on Linda Almua to present the Taonga to senior scholar Aroha Nubi. John Vier Ninda Cooper Yale. <laughs> Espoir Nungambili Butu. Erina Norman. <laughs> Noah Pitterbaugh. Josephine Sami. <laughs> Samar Shazia. <laughs> Joshua Suarez. I call on Linda Almour to present the Taonga to senior scholar Teresa Stonebridge. <laughs> Janine Sullivan. Comfort Thomas. <laughs> Lossi Valley Tuala. Ronita Prasad. (laughs) 
Jeet Rai Weda Singer Adak Chilaj. I now present to the Interim Chief Executive the Diplomates of the Postgraduate Diploma in Counselling, Chris Abadi. Lee Cat. <laughs> Sheila Cruz. <laughs> Magdalena Durant. <laughs> Shireen Garrett. Morgan Gill. <laughs> Hilary Jackson. Guy Johnson. <laughs> Sheena Langoot. <laughs> Matthew McCormick. Sanjida Patan. Iba Rubiero Matos Ferreira. <laughs> I acknowledge all those graduating in absentia. Kia ora. I'd like to offer a very warm congratulations to all of our graduates as you are, are now. Uh, you should feel extremely proud of yourselves. I'm sure you've got all sorts of emotions rushing around and I'm sure there's going to be lots of celebrating uh, later on as you also show appreciation to all of your family and friends who have been on, on the journey. Um, I'd also like to take this rare opportunity to thank our staff behind me here on the stage and the many who are, are not here. Of course, um, all of this is only possible because all of them. Uh, and so uh, we have an incredibly committed, passionate, hardworking staff here at, at Unitech. As you will be aware, education is going through a lot of change and um, it doesn't matter what's happening at Unitech, our staff are always focused on the success of our students and um, I'm very privileged to lead them and I really would like to thank and uh, show my appreciation.
And now I'm going to ask that uh, amazing staff to be upstanding and give a round of applause to all of our graduates. And now it's the graduates' turn to be upstanding and to turn around and face their support crew, their family and, and friends that have got them through. Please be upstanding and a round of applause. Thank you. We're nearly there. <laughs> Thank you. As I said, I'm sure there's going to be lots of celebrating later on and you should make the most of it. Um, shortly we'll have our student council representative, our Pacific representative, Tokasi Lupuli. Uh, and then we'll have a performance from some of our students in our performing arts. And um, then we'll have a final karakia and blessing of the food. Kia ora. Thank you, Mary. Pohi taku muna ka kau moia kingina. Nanu mea he taku e taku loto e mahei. Ko kupu whakanui manawa taku whenua, ko lane kupu ko whakatau nungina na te toko uke ngā toa i loto i te akungo ko Unitec i te awhiawhi te nei. Whakawhetai ka e whakamālou mo tau whainga ko tau nung. As people of Aotearoa, it is the ocean that connects us. The ocean makes us become one but it is our traditions that differentiates us. The blood of the ocean flows through my vein. I am the ocean. We are the ocean, and the ocean is us. Talofa kotokatoa, tokuingo kotokasi. Talofa, and warm greetings to you all. My name is Tokasi Yupeli, and I'm the Pacific representative on Unitech Student Council. Firstly, I would like to use this opportunity to acknowledge and pay my respect to all those who lost their lives in a terrorist attack, attack in Christchurch. It is my pleasure to welcome families, friends, staff, and of course our graduates of 2019. It's an honor and privilege to be part of this celebration to acknowledge your success. Your success is a journey, not a destination. A graduation ceremony is a special occasion, a time of celebration, of contemplating a new chapter and opening a door into the world of work, into the world of work and all the joys and, res and responsibilities that go with it. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than in any obstacle. Today is your day to come together and to celebrate your success alongside the people that have supported you through your journey and I'm sure they will continue on doing that. Each of you who stood before me have made a choice to embark on the world of tertiary education. This was about taking on a new challenge and doing something different in your life. But let's be realistic. It is a life changing decision and often not an easy one. The changing income, looking for a part-time job, having to live off, live off noodles and crackers, but most of all, having to spend time away from your loved ones. The stressful nights, either studying for an exam, writing up the last 100 words of your essay, prepping up for presentations, and finding appropriate academic resources for references. And of course, 
fighting with your number one best friend, Mr. or Mrs. Turn It In. <laughs> all that hard work is worth it at the end, and all those challenges have made you stronger. We all have our different reasons for going to tertiary studies, but for whatever reason it is, give yourself a pat on the back, because you made it. Be sure to give the person next to you a big high five as well, because they made it too. Not a slap, just a high five. <laughs> and while you're doing that, let's not forget to thank all our families, friends, because they share a part of your journey and they help you get here. So today is about your success. Stand tall with pride and be proud of your achievements. Now that you're at the end of your journey, don't forget to carry the values of Unitech that have helped and supported you through your journey. Use that passion and desire you had when you first set foot at Unitech to embark on your journey. This is your chance. Go out there and do your part to change the world. You may not change all you had hoped for, but the world will be better for the caring demonstrated by your effort. Things are difficult, but they're not impossible. Congratulations once again. Whakafetailahi, BHSD for life. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. How are you all? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, we are the Unitech second year music students, and today, to celebrate this special day with you, we're going to perform a few songs. Okay, this first one was written by me. Uh, oh, none of that. Um, and it's called Alone. I hope you enjoy. A two, a one, two, three. Hey little thing, won't you pick up the phone? I just need some time to talk, cause I feel so alone, yeah. Oh yeah, I feel so alone, cause I find it hard just to be. I find it hard to make a friend. And when they lie in the tears. Got the pitchforks out and they're running me oh yeah Oh yeah Okay, uh, this next one 
is off a musical called Romeo and Juliet. Uh, you may have heard of that story. So it's called Kings of the World. Okay. And I'd just like to extend uh, congratulations to everyone here tonight. You've earned it. Thank you very much. Kina rangatira mo apopo. To you, the leaders of tomorrow. Koyane to kotora apopo hera ano. This is your day. Tomorrow is another day. Kia hore te marino. May the seas be calm. May the ocean glisten like green stone. May the shimmer of light guide you to a successful future. Maori ora. The blessing of food. Welcome the gifts of food from the Earth Mother. And the food basket from Sky Father. Food to sustain us. Haumie, huie. Thank you. Well, we have come to the end of this ceremony. Groan. All. Um, very nice to be able to call you graduates now instead of graduands. I always find graduand is a very strange word. So what we will be doing now, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, I'll be asking you all to stand in a moment and the party on stage and all of the staff will exit the theatre and then if the graduates can follow them and then we will see you all in the foyer for some kai. Kia ora. <laughs>